What's up guys to another video today. Today we are doing another video on that vegan teacher again. I keep on doing these videos because they get me. You know, you guys really enjoyed them and I really appreciate that. These videos are really hard to make but, you know, but I hope you guys are liking what I do. So let's get right onto the video. What a load of bullshit. You just didn't do it properly. You were lazy. You probably ate chips, drank Coke, and then said, oh, this not working. Did you put Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen app in your phone? Did you actually do any research whatsoever? Now this is why no one will go vegan. You say that people don't even try, but you don't even know what they are doing. And also, you said that person drinks Coke and ate chips. You may not know if that person eats or drink these kind of things. Lady. And also, we do research and look at reliable sources. But with this lady, she listens to other vegan activists' information that tried to fool her. The short answer is no, but it's impossible to explain here. Go to egg-truth.com and learn from them there. There's a lot of information about chickens, even backyard chickens. Go, seriously. Wow, it's impossible to explain here, but oh, she said it's not okay to eat eggs. And also, don't go to that website and find out the truth. It could tell you wrong information. Also, there is a lot of facts about chickens in books, but not in websites. Which ones did you see? They made me cry too. I couldn't bear it. I was sobbing. I couldn't even finish watching Dominion to be completely honest with you. It was just horrific. Please be vegan. Wait a minute. If you called people weak for not watching the documentaries and you cried while you were watching the documentaries, then who is the weak person now and what kind of group is weak now because because look at you because you see when you cry I know you could be a strong person but the thing is that if you cry during watching the documentaries while you call other weak then who's weak now your poster's beautiful I love it just one tip if you're ever gonna use one of my songs Make sure you put the video on to 60 seconds so you don't cut the song off, alright? Thanks. A, a vegan poster is beautiful to most people that, well, vegan. But you want to know what isn't beautiful? A vegan activist, they bring pressure, among others, to become vegan. And they tell their audience fake information about biology. How rude. And no one wants to use your songs because it's impolite and uncivilized. Merchandise? Like what? Listen, I'm just here to save animals. I'm not here to make any money. I just really honestly want everybody to watch those documentaries and to stop paying for their rape, torture, and murder. It just pains me so to know that they're suffering. Besides, what in the heck would I sell? I mean... Would you buy a shirt that says, I love that vegan teacher? Most people hate me. I guess I could sell shirts that say, I hate that vegan teacher. <laughs> They'd probably sell. No, but seriously, I guess it wouldn't be bad to make a bit of money to help pay for Bella's food and her care and, you know, even my own meals once in a while. But I don't know. I'd feel weird about it. I guess, I guess I'll think about it. Anyways, if you have any ideas, I guess I'm open. Thanks for thinking about me, though. I do appreciate that. Look, if you want people to become vegan, sell some merchandise. Because if you do not sell merchandise, then it will be harder to convert people into vegan. And also, if people buy a shirt that says, I love that vegan teacher, that's because to let people know about you more often. And also, why would you have your merchandise? I hate that vegan teacher. People would buy them, but that makes you seem like a troll to me. And to the other people. Thank you so much for helping in the comment section. You're absolutely right. 
being vegetarian is not enough because people end up actually eating more things to compensate for the meat, like cheese and eggs. I know I did that when I was vegetarian. We need it to be vegan. You really appreciate that people helped you in the comment section. But the people in the comment section have more knowledge than you. And you always try to prove people wrong when they have more knowledge than you. Like, which is really, really something that people cannot do and and is not allowed to do most of the time. And, um, yeah. The part where you say, you don't need to be vegan. We don't need to be vegan because of someone like you. You were saying you watched the documentaries and you're still not going to be vegan? Then you have a deep psychological problem. Why the fuck are you here then? Should I just block you? You just lying? Wasting everyone's time? Just be vegan and that's it. How do people have a deep psychological problem when they don't become vegan? Obviously, if people watch something, doesn't mean they are going to be vegan. Like if they're watching a vegan documentary, doesn't mean they're going to be vegan. It's just like when people are learning maths, it does not mean they will be good at maths. Look how salty she is. She only blocks people who are white. But you don't see her block people who are who try to troll her. But people are telling the truth. She will only block these people. I'm not sure what you mean. Will I encourage you? Hell yeah. But if you go off course, will I give you shit? <laughs> Fucking right I will. Just be vegan. One day at a time. You can do it. I know you can. Even if this lady thinks she is encouraging people to become vegan, but the truth is, she is not encouraging people. She is forcing people to become vegan, and you want people to become vegan instantly. How is this even encouraging people anyways? Go to watchdominion.com. Seriously, it will answer everything. What did I say? Go to watchdominion.com. WatchDominion.com. Go. There is nothing wrong with being a non-vegan. This lady spits out her fake facts, telling people lies that they should be vegan, and telling people to watch those documentaries that you suggest all the time. Like this lady says that over 1,000 times in her videos. Everyone can be vegan. Being vegan means you try your best at all times. Who can't try their best at all times? Nobody. Everybody can. There's no excuse for animal abuse. So stop pretending there is. Not everyone can be vegan. Because some countries from around the world don't even have enough food. Or they don't even have a high food security. Like they have a low food security. But where you live... Your country has a high food security, so you can be vegan. And also, you say that being vegan is by doing your best. That's not the definition of vegan, and you know it. And she always fi thinks that we are finding excuses. But this lady is the one finding excuses. She is the one trying to stop us from doing what we want to do. Thank you guys for watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, turn on notifications and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now everyone.